Hello everybody, I'm Sam from Our Van RV and today I'm here to talk to you about sacrificial anodes and hot water services and what you need to know and what you need to do to maintain your hot water service. So most people want to know what is a sacrificial anode? Well this is a magnesium sacrificial anode. Uh, it's made up of a sacrificial magnesium alloy and it's designed to go inside your hot water service of mainly suburban branded hot water services. There are a couple of others that need it, but it's only used on uh, storage heaters. Um, so this anode material is designed to absorb any negative electrical energy that's going through the body of the caravan and into the body of the hot water service. And it's designed to let this material corrode instead of making the drum of the hot water service corrode. Um, a lot of people like to know how long these things last. Well, uh, I've got a couple of examples here to show you. Uh, and this is a brand new anode. And as you can see, it's around 30 centimetres long. Uh, it's around 20 mil in diameter. This is our long lasting anode, which we have listed on our website. Um, we have these specially made to the same metallurgical properties as the original unit, but it's a little bit longer, a little bit larger in diameter. And therefore this, sorry, nearly dropped it. This unit uh, is going to last almost twice as long as the genuine suburban one at around half of the price. So effectively, you're getting four times the usage for the same money. So that's a new anode. This is an example of an anode that's heavily worn but not totally worn out. However, if we were to pull that out of a hot water service during a service of your caravan, we would recommend replacing it at that point. They do get worse. As you can see, this one's nearly worn right away. And then we've got an example of one here, which is totally gone. And believe it or not, we've actually seen these where even the steel center support is actually worn all the way down and you're left with nothing but the nut. So these get inserted into the side of the hot water service. I'm gonna take you now and show you exactly where they're actually located. So this is a new suburban hot water service. Uh, very popular, they've been fitting these suburban hot water services to caravans since the late 70s, would you believe? Um, I think 1979 was the first one that came out, but they became very popular through the 80s and into the 90s. There have been some other models, other brands that have come on the market since that time to try and compete with this product, but this is the suburban one. It's manufactured usually out of the United States. Um, very robust hot water service, and these are fitted to most of our Seascape and Atlantic caravans. Um, we do use some other brands depending on the models and the space, um, but this is the suburban one, and this is the one that has a sacrificial anode. So I'll just show you where that anode is. So the anode is in behind the main cover. We've got a little clip here that allows us to just to be flip up, rotate around, and then we can open the service access door. That just folds down on this hinge. And as you can see in the back here, we've got all the workings of the hot water service. Gas control valve, the gas flows through here to the burner and the flue. Uh, you've got a pressure relief valve. There's a reset in here for the thermocouples. You've got your igniter. Underneath here, there's a black cover, which is where your 240 volt element goes. And this big nut in the bottom here is where the anode goes inside the hot water service. So what we've got is We've got this tool, which is also available off our website. So this is purpose designed to be able to remove the anode using this end. And on the larger end is the nut that fits the 240 volt element that's in behind the black cover. So what we do is we use this with a screwdriver through the hole. We place this over the end of the anode and then we put the screwdriver in and we use that as the leverage to be able to undo the anode and then pull it out. It is important to make sure when you're going to remove an anode from one of these hot water services, a few things. First thing, you need to have no water pressure. So make sure your water pumps off, make sure the van's not connected to high pressure. You need to make sure that you've relieved any pressure using the overflow here by just levering that up and that'll let out any excess pressure in the hot water service. And then that way, when you go to undo that nut, there's no pressure in there. If you leave the pressure in there and you, you pull it out, water will go absolutely everywhere. So once that anode's out and you've inspected it as per the, uh, the ones I showed you before, if it's all worn out, um, we have this special tool, which is also available via our website. So this is called a, a, it's a spray wand. So it's a, a product that's designed to particularly go inside the hot water service all the way in through the hole. 
and has a jet that comes out here in a half circle and you can draw all of the crap that's in the bottom of your hot water service out through that hole and flush it all out before you put your new hot water uh, sacrificial anode in. Once you put the new anode in, obviously you need to put some thread tape around that and feed it back in through the hole. It's important to make sure you've got the unit full of water before you start to heat it all back up again. Um, you don't want to blow the 240 volt element. So we put the anode back in, fill it back up with water, and then we get it nice and hot again and just make sure that there's no leaks. Sacrificial anodes should be replaced about every 12 months, even if you're not using the van. If you have the van plugged into a, a 240 volt circuit for charging, or if the battery system is on maintaining clocks and other things, there will always be some form of negative electrical current running through the body as an earth, and that's what creates the electrolysis that makes the hot water service anode perish. So uh, we do sell them, as I said, in our store. Uh, we have deals on there where if you're buying more than one, you can save some money, um, but they're very useful. They'll save the hot water service long-term. And if you've got any questions, feel free to jump on the website, uh, ourvanrv.com.au, or give the team a call on 1300 068 700, and they'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Hope this has helped you make a wise decision on keeping your van safe. Thanks again.